Will the members please escort the governor to the well? Governor Haslam laid out his plan during a joint meeting of the House and Senate. He told lawmakers in no uncertain terms why he doesn't like the president's health care reform plan. To me, the scandal of the Affordable Care Act is that it doesn't significantly address cost or alignment reform. But that's what Washington does. The Obama plan would expand Medicaid to as many as 300,000 additional Tennesseans who either can't pay for insurance or are considered uninsurable. The feds would cover all the costs for three years. Governor Haslam says that plan would end up costing Tennessee almost $2 billion by the end of the decade. And he's asked the feds for permission to use their money to buy private insurance instead. This plan would include co-pays for those that can afford to pay something so the user has some skin in the game when it comes to health care incentives. Washington hasn't said no, but it hasn't said yes, meaning for now, Tennessee is leaving an estimated $10 billion health care dollars on the table. It's going to set us back years, and it's going to affect business. It's going to affect 90, upwards of 90-something thousand jobs uh, on this program. Governor's hoping to get a waiver from Washington to try something new, something Republicans say really addresses the skyrocketing cost of health care. I hope there is a middle ground where we can actually solve this problem and not just pour money into a broken system.